Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie McCollum. I'm a registered dietitian working exclusively with chronic kidney disease patients for either pre-dialysis, dialysis, and kidney transplantation. I've created this channel because I wanted to bring more awareness to kidney disease and some of the topics that people ask tons and tons of questions on over the years to describe these topics in a very simplistic way so that people can understand it who don't necessarily have a medical background. That's the purpose of this channel. So if this information is something that would benefit you or family member or loved one, please subscribe, comment, um, like, share this video. Okay, so I'm gonna get into it. This video, like I said, this video is about specifically creatinine. Why is creatinine important? What does it mean? What's the big deal with creatinine? Why do the, all the doctors always talking about it? Why do these doctors keep wanting me to go see a kidney doctor? I don't know why. I'm going to explain that. The creatinine is something that is a substance that's produced from muscle breakdown in our bodies. Everybody has muscle. You might not have as much as, you know, someone else, but everyone has muscle in their body. And whether you know it or not, your body has muscle breakdown and muscle creation all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so creatinine is produced when our muscles break down or when our muscles are through muscle breakdown, basically. And also when we eat protein in our diet, creatinine is also released from that process. Chemistry majors, do not beat me up. I'm not getting super sophisticated and complicated with this explanation. So creatinine is basically a substance that everybody produces who has muscle. And everybody has muscle. So every human on the planet that is alive is producing creatinine. Okay. How to, so what's so bad about that? Because creatinine is a poison. It's a toxin that can make you sick if your levels get too high over a long period of time. That's why it's important. When the physicians draw blood work from us, whether it's a yearly physical, whether you're being evaluated by a kidney doctor, they're gonna draw the CHEM-7, and part of the CHEM-7 is the creatinine level. The creatinine level specifically tells a medical professional what your kidneys are doing and do they need to dig further in that, in that, down that direction. Normal creatinine is typically going to be between 0.8 and 1.1. So on average, around 1. Normal creatinine should be around 1. Just because you are slightly above that after multiple, multiple lab draws does not mean that you need dialysis. It just means there needs to be maybe a further evaluation done for you. Maybe you need to tighten up on your blood sugar control if you're diabetic. Maybe you need to live a healthier life, control your uh, hypertension better if you have hypertension. If you have high cholesterol, you probably need to control that a little bit better as well. So sometimes having a slightly high creatinine is a wake up call to people to just tighten up better on their health because no one is perfect. We all do things that we probably should not have done as far as dietary and lifestyle. Totally get that. But the creatinine level is a indicator or let's say a clue to the medical profession that they need to do further testing in that area or even if it's really high, they probably need to send you to a special doctor that specializes in the treatment of kidney disease and hypertension, a nephrologist. Fancy word for a kidney doctor, okay? So like I said before, creatinine is produced by every human. Creatinine is removed by healthy kidneys and the normal creatinine level should be between 0.8 and 1.1. And just because you're slightly elevated does not mean that you're gonna need dialysis. It may be the beginning stages of something going on and you need a further evaluation which is not bad in itself because oftentimes a really good kidney doctor and a really good kidney patient 
can prolong ever needing dialysis or push it back for years or even decades by doing what they're supposed to do with controlling those factors I mentioned. So like I said, this video is very short, not gonna be real long, and so you have a better understanding of what creatinine is and why it's important to know what your creatinine level is and why it's important to live a healthier lifestyle so that you can control that creatinine. So if you have any comments about this video, please comment below. Subscribe if you haven't done so. You'd be doing me a solid favor. I'd really appreciate it. And share this video with anyone who you think could benefit from the information. And in my next video, I'm gonna do a detailed explanation of the five stages of kidney disease based on the GFR. If that's something that you want to learn more about, please tune in to my next video. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 o'clock a.m. because I'm an early bird, but I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this whole video.